A lot of highlights already for Carlota Saganda. This was that fourth for birdie. And she's a player that has said that she likes tougher golf courses. She likes courses where you don't necessarily have to go low, but she's proving that she can do it both ways. Oh, oh, trying to back it up. This is at the sixth. And she does back it up, almost backs it in. At the eighth, we saw the tee shot of Carlota Saganda. This to get to 18 under. She's birdied half of her holes today. Four under through eight today, and now 18 under for the tournament. Saganda to get to five under on the front nine. The tenth in Carlota Saganda putting together one of the best rounds of the day. Five under par. And being downwind, even though she spins the ball quite a bit, she knew that was going to release. Carlota Saganda with a chance for another birdie. This would be her sixth birdie of the day. Carlota Saganda joins. Now she now moves into second place alone at 20 under to 12. And Carlota Saganda, the closest competitor to say young Kim, and Kate Cockrell is caught up with the red hot Spaniard. Well, I'm excited to follow this dynamic player. She's pulled out a six iron. This whole, this par three playing back into the wind. So playing a good 10 yards longer. That would be for her seventh birdie of the day. For an eighth or a seventh birdie of the day, Kay? Yeah, this, <laughs> that was read beautifully. Nice left right breaking putt with good speed. First to 14 in Carlota Saganda. A little further away than she'd like, a, a 30 footer. Get there, get there, get there. Yeah. Yeah. She likes everything today. <laughs> Eight birdies and 14 holes. And with a very reachable par five coming up next for her as well. Patch of great form, and this could be the start of it for her. Carlo to Saganda at the 16th, Kay Cockrell. Tucked hole location, nice to come in with a 54 degree wedge. So a three putt par at the 15th for Saganda, a chance to get to 23 under there. Carlo to Saganda for birdie at 16. To take advantage of that great wedge. Her caddy Terry McNamara told her as they left the par five, let's finish strong. Yeah, she does. Her ninth birdie of the day. Little fade here. It's almost like a dog leg par three, isn't it, Kay, the 17th? Most definitely. Aiming at a spot about 20 feet left and use her natural fade to slide it in there. Yeah, lovely shot. Mm -hmm. Remember the 10. Good speed. Oh, yeah. What a round of golf this is from Carlo de Seganda. Ten under par. She's going with her 50 degree wedge. And just taking a little something off it. Uh oh. Don't, 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 don't. Oh my. Oof. Was that a. It, it was. Shankop Shankopotamus? It was really. <gasps> my goodness. Ten under on a round today. And then does that. Well, this is not a replay, Kay. This is Carlo de Saganda. Take us through what just happened. No, unfortunately, that, that shank, uh, her ball ended up oh, short right and over the green. We thought initially it was maybe marked hazard, but it's not. So never went in to even try to find her ball, because if she did, it's, it's such thick growth in there. Opting instead to go back and hit from where she last hit for a, a lost ball. And she was 10 under on a round. Is 10 under. Oh, goodness. Presented by Prudential. Fifth shot for Saganda. That was very sporty. That was a touch of class, Karen. That yeah. lie was nasty, completely buried. Double bogey putt for Carlota Saganda at 18. She has a four shot lead over Emma Talley for second place. Oh, that's, that's, 
huge right there. Really showed a lot of class collecting herself. So 10 under coming to the 18th, the double bogey. The lead is nine for Se Young Kim.